Hello everybody, I have a brand new knife for you today, but this video is not so much about the Civivi fracture we see in front of us, as much as it is about Civivi itself. They have made some, in my opinion, very clever des uh, decisions recently, and part of that is they are just becoming master manipulators of social media, and I mean that in a good way, of course, uh, because of course this knife, the fracture, was recently released, and it is an interesting case because if you go on YouTube, for instance, right now, go to search it out, Civivi Fracture. Type it in, hit the results, you're going to find over 20 knife reviews of the Civivi Fracture. Uh, if you go on their Instagram, you're going to see picture after picture of the Fracture. Very, very uh, highly advertised, which is surprising because this knife was made um, as a homage to the fans. You know, even down to the name, the Fracture was designed, or the, the name Fracture was selected by a fan of Civivi. So they are keeping the community involved, and this is kind of their payback for it. Um, a knife named by the community, for the community, at a very low price. So for less than $30, you're getting this beautiful, you know, slip joint knife. And so very nice, nicely made. The construction is just what you would expect from Civivi slash Wii. And uh, again, it's a limited run. So that's one of the aspects that's making it very appealing to people. And the fact that you can have a hard time finding them in stock anywhere out there. Because the second they hit a dealer, they're almost gone within the same day. So as of right now, when I filmed this, these were available at Blade HQ. But they go in and out of stock everywhere like crazy. So, you know, Civivi knows, you know, part of the thrill of getting a new knife and getting an exclusive knife is the hunt. And so these things are in and out of stock, you know, Blade HQ, Knife Center, GP Knives, they are just kind of all over the place at the major dealers, and those are just a few of them that have them. Um, a lot of the other dealers have them as well. Um, but even as of, again, as again of when I made this video, if you go onto the Civivi Knives Instagram page, they still say that there are more out there and heading to distributors, heading to dealers as we speak. So it is not too late to get one of these pieces because these were a limited run. And so once they're gone, they're gone. That being said, we don't know how many they produced exactly. Uh, but there seem to be quite a few of them out there, and they're available, you know, and th that won't always be the case. So as collectors, we know that exclusivity means a whole lot to us. So the fact that this will not always be available, you know, that means something. So if you want to go snap one up, now is your opportunity. Go do it. And that being said, I fell for it as well. I bought the knives, but I am just impressed because they, they got these things out in the hands to YouTubers on um, online well before the knife released to the public and that just kind of got all of us salivating it's like oh my gosh look at this new knife and so once it hit the, the dealers they were gone that being said even though it is a limited run the low price point makes it very attractive so almost anybody can afford to get a get a get into this knife and have a really nice reliable slip joint with a modern design and again, just the fact that it is a slip joint, a modern design knife, G10, 8CR, 13MOV, those are things you generally don't see in slip joint knives. So very cool. So leave it to Civivi to modernize the, the slip joint. Um, and that being said, Civivi is becoming more and more mainstream, and so it would not surprise me if very soon we start to see Civivi knives in big box retailers. You know, your Walmarts, your big sporting goods stores, because at the price they're offering, they're they're offering a lot of value here. And I think the market is starting to notice. So all of this great social media um, presence is starting to pay off, you know, so they, they are definitely wanting to compete with the big boys and quality wise, they already do. They just got to get their, their knives out there. And by sending them to all these YouTubers for these early, early reviews, they are playing the game right. They know what they're doing. So it's kind of cool to see just the process of this, this company, you know, starting at the bottom, you know, as this very little known Chinese company, part of We Knives. And now they are becoming a major player in the industry. So it's kind of exciting to see what they're going to be coming up with next. And it's actually kind of exciting to see if they're going to stay a budget knife line. Because the whole point of Civivi was to give us, you know, We Knives at an everyman's budget. And they're doing really good at that. 
But the best part of this is, is, you know, under a hundred dollars, I don't, it's hard to beat Civivi and what they have to offer, you know, under $50, even harder, you know, just cause there's a lot of competition at that level and the, the fit and finish on these things is pretty impeccable. So good for them. Um, by the title of this video, I hope it wasn't too misleading because <laughs> Savibi is doing this right. Uh, they're doing a really good job. So not a negative at all. Um, but that being said, if you guys have any questions or if, what do you think, what do you think about Savibi? What do you think about Wii knives? Are you still, you know, are you biased about against Chinese knives? Were you ever biased against Chinese knives? I know it can be tough to think of them as being competitive, um, in a market where American made is a big seller. But darn, the quality here is, is it's just here. It's it's a, it's great. Um, and they're offering a lot for your money. And I think that is what matters at the end of the day, what you get for your dollar. So go ahead and leave your comments below. I want to chat with you guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye-bye.